Hi, my name is Garrett, solo and lead developer working on Strong by 3, a martial arts combat and exploration game. So last week I was working on the main character that Ben made me a sketch of, and I think the week before I was working with Mixmo's auto rigger, and this week I decided to combine the two. Now I was having issues before when I was testing it with having this geometric model that had spaces between the joints, and so it wasn't doing the auto rigging correctly. So what I did is I made a mesh underneath that was complete, that wasn't split up. And I put that underneath about the same dimensions of the main character. And I auto rigged that and that worked fine. So what I did is when I went inside of Unity, I made the material for it. I made it transparent so that you could never see the actual underneath material. So it still looked disjointed, but the rig still worked fine because it was taking it from that original mesh underneath. I don't know if it's been done before, and I probably took it from somewhere subconsciously, uh, but it is a cool solution. It might not be as good whenever I want to decide to update the model, because I might, I'd also probably need to update that underneath mesh. But it's a solution that works for now and allows me to use the Mismo animations as much as I want. Another thing I was working on this week was the color palette, and it's something I have thought of before in my previous games of trying to be conscious of, and I just want to try to be more conscious of it early on now. Uh, I'm, at least in terms of the colors, I'm going for a brighter, more saturated look because it is the sort of space theme and the nebulas, I want them to be like really bright and, and colorful. And so I'm playing around with that, but I also don't want the environments to be too saturated because it's going to be a little bit distracting when you go into doing the combat. So it's going to be something I'm playing around with a lot. I'm also trying to figure out the best sort of pipeline to go about making the color palette, whether I want to make it in Photoshop or just do swatches. Um, it's something I'm, I'm just playing around with a lot. I'm not too, too focused on it right now, um, at least the workflow wise, but I want to try to get that consistent early on so that everything looks like it fits together. If you'd like to learn more about Strong by 3 or me, please check out the Discord link below. You can talk to me anytime you want. I am more than happy to talk with anyone. So thank you for watching, I love you forever, and I'm coming back next week.